Alright, if you're familiar with any of my videos, you would know that when I'm out on the water, I'm really not giving that many tips. And that's why I'm going to be creating this series called Tackle Talk Tuesday, TTT. So uh, today's episode, I'm going to be talking about jigs. Here, let me talk a little bit about this series that I just thought of a few few days ago. So I'm going to do this. So I'm going to go over every Tuesday. It's going to, well, it's in the name. It's going to, I'm going to try and do it every Tuesday. If you guys like it, if you don't like it, I'm just going to stop it. But so I'm going to go over and I'm going to talk about some of the basic tackles, ways to fish it, rig it, where to fish it, what conditions, just basic tips on how to fish some lures. That would get into today's TTT. It's going to be about bass jigs, when to fish them, where to fish them, what colors work the best. So let's jump right into it. All right, so my first jig that I'm going to have to go, I, and these aren't in any specific order, Just they're just about how I'm just going to start off, I guess I can start off by which ones I'm going to throw in the summer, because it's currently summer right now, and then work my way back to winter. So I'll, I'll do it that way. This first jig is going to have to be a, it's a jig with a worm, but it can really be any kind of jig. It doesn't have to be a finesse jig, that's just what I chose. It can be like any other jig, but I just like to have a worm trailer in the summertime. Places I'd be fishing this is at like weed lines, weed edges, just kind of deeper because the place, the fish in the summer are going to want to go deeper to target that cold water because they're not going to want to stay in all that warm water. They're going to want to go deep for that cold water. If you can find like a like a wee line offshore, this would be the ideal place to fish this. When the cold front comes in, you're going to want to use this jig but you're going to want to pair it up with, I prefer spinning gear with a extremely light leader around six, six pound fluorocarbon is what I usually go with. But you can go with, you can go with a little heavier, but you're going to want to go down to that smaller line size so you can feel those bites better. And the last thing you're going to want to do is colors. So if you have like a darker pond, like not darker, but you know what I mean, like the muddy water, muddy water, you're going to want to go with classic black and blue or just darker colors. And then if you have a clear pond, you're going to want to go with more of a more natural color is what you're going to want to go with. That's going to go for all the kinds of jigs we're going to I'm going to be talking about today. So, nat clear water you're going to want to go natural and then darker water you're going to want to go more something that stands out. Right, next up is going to be the football head jig. This isn't like the traditional jig that you're going to just hop off the bottom. This is going to be one that it's kind of like a lazy bait, like a Sanko or something like that, just like a lazy bait. You're going to want to just drag this along the bottom. You're not going to want to hop it or anything. Extremely simple to fish, but very effective for these offshore fish. You're going to want to try to use this bait when the fish are offshore on preferably some rocks. That, that seems to work the best for me is offshore rocks. And since you're going to be fishing this in deeper water, I'm, I would, I'd say go with around 20 pound fluorocarbon with a heavy rod. I don't own any heavy rods, but that, that's what I'd fish it with is a heavy rod. But a medium heavy, well I have a St. Croix, but that runs heavy, so that's, that's probably equivalent to a heavy in any other rods. So, I mean a medium heavy would work, but preferably you'd want a heavy rod fishing this football head. Alright, next up we have the flipping and pitching jig. This, you're gonna, this is a wintertime bait. But I wouldn't fish this big of a bait. I would go with the, this is what I usually fish in the winter, is the Strike King Bitsy Bug with a Rage Crawl trailer. But you're just going to, this is for the winter. This is not for the summer. But you're just going to want to fish that extremely slow. Like you're going to want to twitch it across the bottom a few times, just very slow. Like it should take you like a minute or two to reel it in all the way. You just going to want to fish this extremely close. Extremely slow, close to cover, is what you're going to want to fish this in the winter. When you're fishing this jig in the summer, you are also going to want to... When you're fishing this jig in the summer, you're also going to want to... You're going to want to do, like, basically the same thing in the winter, but you're going to want to do it a little faster. And you're just going to want to, like... Yeah, you're going to want to do the same thing, but a little faster. Just not much faster, just a little faster. And you're going to want to give it a little harder pops than you would in the winter. And you're just going to just try to get the those tail... The trailer to flutter. I, I have, okay, so what I have on this as a trailer is a Strike King Rage Craw, same color, black and blue. Re that's like, honestly, my favorite trailer to use out of every trailer out there. I've tried a few. I've tried those Zoom Chunks. They're just 
they're terrible. Like I have them in my box and I never use them. But I those do work for the winter. But I still if you fish the rage cross slow, it's still just fine. And this is also the size jig. The winter size jig, the Bitsy Bug, is also the size jig that I throw when I'm fishing for bass on bed. That's what I throw when I'm fishing for the bass on the beds. Just because it's smaller, it's easier to get them in the mouth, and when you get them in the mouth, you just set the hook and you get them about every single time. This brings me to my last and final jig. It is going to have to be a swim bait. This is an amazing lure to fish in pre-spawn. I tend to go with the bigger size. I don't know, but I just like the bigger size swim jigs. I mean, you can fish the smaller size swim jigs. I don't know. I just like to go big with my swim baits. But I like I really like fishing this. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cast it in This is what I do. I cast it in the deepest spot of the pond that there is. The deepest spot. And I just slow reel it in, just very slowly just trolling it right around right along the bottom. I have a KVD swim bait on there. Same color, and this is also a KVD swim jig, so it goes together perfectly and catches tons and tons and tons of bass. I've caught an unbelievable amount of bass doing this post pre-spawn, I mean. It is an unbelievable technique. You should re I really recommend doing this. We have some big trips coming up. I know we say this a lot, but we really do, if I really can go with them, we are going to have some really big trips coming up. We, we're even going to do a live stream if I can go. And if we, if I do go, we will... I'll let you know when that live stream will be, so I'll like post it like I'll set it up so you'll be able to tell when that live stream is gonna go live. So then you guys can come hop on and I'll answer some questions and stuff if you guys want. So thanks so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed, turn on post notifications, and thanks for watching. See ya!